couldn't see it. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to talk about the jungle. I've been speaking with a number of people, some of whom have been helping residents of the jungle for the last 30 years. And they say things have never been this sketchy and this violent in the jungle in 30 years. Two weeks ago, a resident of the jungle was attacked by five persons in the middle of the night, slashed with a knife, as was his dog. Um, the man's life was saved by an IBD officer who applied a tourniquet to his wound. He's recovering. Uh, currently, at least two people, maybe three, are missing from the jungle. One is believed by IBD to have been killed. Women are being trafficked on a regular basis, some are raped. Physical assaults, as well as thefts of property, are common. In the West End Business District, every West End business, large and small, is experiencing negative effects, thefts, loss of sales, and fewer customers. Um, the Cancer Resource Center, which has been a staple of West State Street for many years, has left because their clients are afraid to go to their place of business, which they own, the building they own, and now they're renting a place in Kiva Heights, and that building stands empty. I spoke with employees at Wegmans who say that they are regularly harassed and aggressively panhandled on their way from work at the end of the shift. Um, all the charity businesses, Agway, Kiva Lumber, have all been robbed, some regularly. What are we as common council doing about it? So far, not much. We've put together a task force with three members of council and a number of uh, department heads. We spent months working on language that would ensure to everyone that the city is not criminalizing homelessness. We are not criminalizing homelessness. That is a false narrative. Not unlike claiming that the 2020 presidential election was stolen. It's simply not true. Um, it would be good, it would be helpful if all of us on council respected the work that this task force is doing and respect the language that they've come up with. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about not involving the police in moving people from uh, the red zones that have been signified that are city property. Um, the police option is the last option after about seven or eight voluntary options. Nobody's going to be forcibly removed. Um, that's simply not true. <laughs> and police are not the problem. Police actually have good relationships with many of the people in the jungle. They know them by name. Um, they're empathetic. They're helpful in getting people pointed towards services. I personally have witnessed police officers grieving over the death of a young woman in the jungle who they knew, they arrested her many times, and when she died of an overdose, they, they grieved. Um, the threat, the biggest threat in the jungle right now is violence against other people in the jungle by criminals. Um, we need to face this issue. The longer we talk about it and, and worry about minor points of language, the worse it gets. 
and it's worse now than it's ever been. And we as common council members need to do our job. I and along with Cindy, I'm going to suggest that we have yet another uh, West End meeting and invite people who live in the jungle, business owners, residents, and every single member of Common Council. I want every single member of Common Council to come to the West End and see and hear and understand what's really going on. Thank you.